I'm going to slaughter this name, but it's Diven Norak. Uh, he asks uh, for a script uh, for creating uh, dic uh, dictionaries of words, ten characters, symbols into a text file. And I clarified that he wasn't just looking for lists of words, ten characters long. He wants randomly generated stuff, similar to like randomly generating something for a password. There is a number of ways of doing this. <clears throat> First off, let me start spy because someone will comment below. In the digital world and the computer world, and some people will argue in the real world as well, there is no such thing as a true random number. But we can get pretty close because everything's on computers are based on math. There's got to be some sort of input. So there's different ways of kind of coming up with random stuff. So I'm going to show you different ways of doing this. I'm going to show you two main ways of doing this. There's, there's lots of different ways. But one's going to be use the date command. Uh, and this is not the most efficient, but it's a simple little command. So the date command will give us the date and time. We can then pipe that into MD5 sum, and that will give us a, a hash for that file. But what we can do now is he wanted it specifically to be 10 characters long. We can use the head command with dash C, meaning characters, and we can say 10. So we'll cut it off at 10 characters. Now, be uh, advised that this particular command, again, not truly random because we're doing it based on the date, so it's it's very, very not random. And if you were to issue this command twice in a row or multiple times in less than a second, then you're going to get the same output each time. I'll try to give you an example of this by running it multiple times and didn't put any uh, spaces or uh, new line characters at the end of these. But if you look, if you go 10 characters, we've got 70 here, and it goes to here. Then we've got the same number again, same number again. And even if you were to wait a half a second, as long as you're still in the same second as far as the date and time is concerned, then um, it is going to uh, generate the same number. So not the best option, uh, but a quick and easy way. Uh, you know, just I can remember this command in my head. Now, another option we can do is we can use one of the random devices. So in your dev folder, you probably have a urandom file, uh, which will, if we were to cat it, output random data. Now, if this ever happens to your shell, by the way, right there, it's kind of messed up. Just type in reset and hit enter, and it will reset your, your shell. Uh, that happens when you cat out binary files sometimes it garbles up your shell. Uh, so as I just stated, there's some binary data in there. So instead of catting it out, we're going to use the string command, which will take that and um, output only ASCII characters, alphanumeric stuff. So we can do that. And um, sorry, yes, strings, not strings. So there we go. I mean, there are some characters in there, but it's ignoring the, uh, the binary data, if you will. Uh, so I'm going to control C to kill that. So now we can take that and let's say we just want it to be alphanumeric. We can now grep and we can do dash O and then inside quotations, inside double braces, and then inside uh, colons, we can type in A-L-N-U-M for alphanumeric. And if we hit enter, it's going to only output letters and numbers, ignoring those other characters that aren't uh, part of um, the alphanumeric uh, uh, in our language, whatever language is on your system there. Um, now, again, we want this to be uh, 10 characters long. So running that command again, this time putting it into head, but instead of characters, we're going to say dash n 10 for 10 lines, because we're getting one character on each line in this case. There we go. We got 10 individual characters. What we can do now is use tr dash D to delete. And what are we going to delete? Inside quotations, uh, we're going to say backslash N, meaning remove all new lines. And there we go. We can see that we got a 10 character uh, randomly generated alphanumeric um, uh, word that we just created. So, and this, we can take this and let's see what happens if we run this a couple times in a row. You can see it does not repeat because it's not based on seconds. It's it's regenerating random stuff pretty fast here, and and it's not 
it's grabbing 10 lines and then it's grabbing the next 10 lines and the next 10 lines of alphanumeric characters. So therefore it's not going to grab the same thing twice in a row. So uh, this is a much better command than the previous one, but a little bit longer, a little bit harder to remember, although you could remember it. Um, so yeah, so now he wanted to put this all into a folder. So what we can do is we can put this in a while loop. Uh, I can say, uh, or I can say for i in, and then I can say sequence. So in this case, that's a back tick, not a single quote there saying run this command and I should be able to say one through 10 or one through a hundred, I'll say, uh, back slash or back tick do. And then I'll paste in our command here. So let me just copy that and we will redirect the output into a file and append to it. So double uh, greater than symbol. And this is still all one line, even though it's showing up as more than one, just because I'm looping around here. Uh, we will say, we'll just create a file called words. And we'll say done. So we'll hit enter, give it a moment to run. And if we cat out our file words now, oh, you know what our problem with that is? Is that we don't have any new line characters in there. That's simple to fix. So it, it, it did what we wanted to, uh, but it did it all on one line with no spaces, so we didn't divide it up. We'll just add a, uh, a another command into here. We'll change this. We'll say echo nothing. This is just a simple way of doing it. And then I'll put my command out here to write to the words. So this time I'm overwriting it instead of appending to it because I'm using only one greater than, but since that's outside of the loop, it's going to um, just do it once. It's going to dump the output of everything from the loop. So if I do that, I believe in my head, I'm going to count out words. This is why I, I do stuff on the fly here. I don't test it out before I do these videos. There we go. We've got a file full of randomly generated passwords or, or characters, whatever you want to call it. And if I do word count dash L and I say word, I hit enter. It says that there's a hundred lines. So in this case, a hundred, uh, randomly generated passwords just create 10 characters long. And again, if you want to change the lengths of those, we can change this to wherever we want. We want it to be 25 characters long. We change that to 25. And now I can cat out word and they're now 25 characters long. So that is how you can generate randomly generated characters or passwords, whatever you want to call them and put them into a file and get a whole big long list of them. And if you want more than 100 in your list, you can just change this to a higher number if I want a thousand or ten thousand, I can do so. Might take a few seconds, shouldn't take too long. Ten thousand generated passwords. And actually the longest part of this might be just that it has to write to the disk, but it's actually faster than outputting it to the screen. If you were to output this to the screen, either while writing or just to output to the screen, it would take much longer. But it still is taking quite a bit. But again, we're generating ten thousand passwords. Uh, anyway, if you like this video, be sure to like, subscribe, share, and comment. If you enjoy my videos in general, think about becoming a supporter over at patreon.com. There's a link in the description to that, patreon.com forward slash x 1000 I appreciate, even if you have a dollar a month, you can, you can, uh, spare. It helps out a lot. And be sure to check out my website, filmsbychris.com. That's Chris the K. There should be a link to that in the description as well. And as always, I hope that you have a great day. Uh, and before we leave, I'll just, I'm going to press control C to kill this and we'll say word count line word and well, we generated almost 5,000, 4,815 was what we were at when I killed it. So almost halfway to our 10,000 mark. And that was what? 30 seconds, 45 seconds. So figure three minutes uh, on my computer, it would have taken to generate 10,000 random passwords. Anyway, thanks for watching. And as always, I hope that you have a great day.